Good morning, everybody. From? Can you guess where we are? <laughs> We're in Sydney. Finally, after like, what, three months? Yeah. It just feels weird to us. I don't know that we've been in Australia this long and have not been in Sydney yet. Mm -mm. But we're here. This is the Opera House. Look at it. It looks so big. Which is actually interesting. I thought that the Opera House was one big building, mm -hmm. but it's actually like a cluster of smaller buildings put together and from a distance it all looks like one large building. Mm -hmm. Two for scale. There she is. There's Tia. It's pretty big up close. Opera house on a scale of one to ten. Oh, it's like a ten. Man, that was cool. I had to dodge like ten people's uh, TikTok videos to get there, but we're good. I think people see our cameras and they assume that we're good photographers. I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> Places like this are constantly asking us to take their picture for them. Yeah. And I don't think that they ever no, turn out I, how they were I hoping. I took this lady's picture and I handed it to her and asked her if it's okay. She's like, oh, I guess I can edit it. I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, I turned bright red. Oh my god. Anyway, now we're on the other side. Anyways, of this the is, key. yeah, Circular Key. It's a very busy ferry port. Basically, yeah. there's also a rail station there, mm -hmm. but uh, we are going to walk across the famous Sydney Harbour Bridge yeah. for some context because the city is absolutely massive. So this is it, the bridge. There's a pretty cool view back there. You can see the Opera House. Um, what's the name of that island? Fort Denison. It's like this little itty bitty fort that used to be a prison. It's like Sydney's uh, Alcatraz, I think, yeah. kind of. The views from up here really give you perspective on how huge Sydney is. And that bridge. This yeah, bridge this massive. bridge is huge. And there's a lot of very prominent, like, I'm assuming this is anti-jump stuff. Yeah. But it runs along the entire bridge, so you don't have a completely unbroken view. Mm -hmm. You can, right there, pay to take an elevator and the stairs up to a lookout. And then sort of like walk on top of the bridge as well. But uh, what the bridge walk is 700 Australian for the two of us. Yeah. So if you saw a couple videos ago, we were complaining about paying $100 for our ski lift tickets. We're just, it's not in the budget. No, but it seems cool though. It does, yeah. And then that elevator right there is $20 a person. But you know, this is a good view and it's free. Do you wish you were up there right now? Yep. So where Melbourne was kind of hipstery and coffee shoppy and felt like the Pacific Northwest United States. I feel like Sydney is more like California, like it's sort of glamorous. The architecture is very flashy, but also not quite as modern as Melbourne was. It's like very charming. It is charming, yeah. It's just got a completely different vibe. The weather's a little bit warmer, obviously. I mean, it's, it's very different. I like it. That's right here. Isn't it the cutest name you've ever heard? I love it. Yeah, it is a cute name. So this place is, just judging by the looks of it, 
very ritzy. There's a ton of very expensive looking hotels. There's a wharf over here with a bunch of nice looking restaurants. And yachts. There's so many yachts over there. So yes, this is quite a touristy area. But we're tourists, so we figured we had to come and check it out. And we're both hungry, but I don't think we're going to eat at one of these over here. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to find a place a couple streets off, Many away streets. from here. <laughs> and we decided we're going to find some place to watch sunset. Yeah. <laughs> we got kebabs. These are hefty. They're really, they smell really good. Yeah, they do. We found a food court. We actually just walked around the CBD uh, for like two hours. Just kind of soaking it all in. I don't know. We like to do that on our first day in a, in a new city. Mm -hmm. Now we're on the waterfront looking directly at the sun. You really can't beat this view. I'm, well, it's bright, but there's the opera house, the sun setting. You got, got the, the skyline. Mm -hmm. And we're in this beautiful botanical garden, which is really cool. It's kind of like uh, Melbourne's. Mm -hmm. And we're eating dinner. I love this. The best first day ever. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna try it. Yes. Oh my god, they actually like use thick, uh, like, peanut bread. Sometimes it's like a thin tortilla, it's not as good. Mm-hmm. We walked like eight miles today, so I'm so hungry. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Good day, guys. Every time I say it, you get that look on your face. We are at Bondi Beach. This is probably the only beach that I had heard of before we came to Australia. Yeah, from an American perspective, I would say it's the most famous beach in Australia. Uh huh. And it's actually not that busy. No. Like, it's definitely by far the busiest beach mm -hmm. that we've been to in Australia, and we've been to dozens. But it's still not very busy compared to like a California beach. It is the winter here though. Yeah, that's so. true. This is the softest sand I've ever felt in my entire life. It feels like we're walking on this like fluffy little clouds. It's not white like a lot of the sand in Western Australia, uh -huh. but it's, uh, it's soft like powdered sugar or something. Yeah. Also another observation is that Speedos are alive and well in Australia rather than swimming trunks for men. So, uh, yeah, I dig it. Just an observation. <laughs> Of course we're going to do the Bondi Beach walk. Yep. It is a coastal walk, which some people say is like the prettiest coastal walk in Australia. Um, it's definitely the busiest. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. And oh, I guess on his laptop a little bit. And then uh, it's six kilometers long, so it should take us a few hours. And uh, yeah, and it's yeah. nice and warm today for once. I'm so happy. It is actually like perfect temperature today. Mm -hmm. It's just been very cold the last few weeks, so this is very welcome. another beach. It's cool, there's just beaches dotted along the whole walk. But really the only thing that I found super interesting about this is that the lifeguard station <laughs> is so ritzy. They have a barbecue that looks like such a fun little shack to just hang out in all day. That's awesome. It's so cool. To be a life goals. <laughs> On this walk we like go past a ton of beaches and they're all like this. Just like pristine white sand, a whole bunch of surfers, and they're all empty. That's just amazing. Hey Australians, how much do all of these houses cost? They're right on the coast here. Just curious. I 
know, it's kind of weird to talk about a cemetery, but this is probably the most beautiful cemetery I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Like right on the water, and all the graves are from like the early 19, late 1800s, early 1900s. I would like to be buried a place like that one day. <laughs> the good view. <laughs> With the good view. We made it. That was a really slow turnaround. We took our time. It was really, really nice and peaceful. It was a beautiful walk too. <laughs> it was. People say it's really touristy, and it is. There's a lot of tourists, but it's still a beautiful walk. You still get a nice vibe for whatever suburb this is. It's a very wealthy coastal suburb, but it's really nice. Do you want to find something to eat? Yes, I don't please. know if there's anything affordable around here, but yeah. It was a cool walk. Yeah. Look, it's just some fribs. <laughs> Um, the coleslaw for me. This is probably the most touristy fish and chips stand, but the fact that it's called Chish and Fips. Chish, Chish and Fips is like, how good we know? So we got, look at the same thing. It's fries, or sorry, chips with fish and chicken salt on top. And I love, they always do like a really big slice of lemon, which is really nice. Before this trip, I always, always put french fries with ketchup. So Australia has taught me that you don't always need ketchup or tomato sauce. And how many How many That's really good. It's like extremely, extremely crunchy on the outside, but not like a thick layer of batter. It's like really, really thin. And the fish the what? is so flaky that I put my fork in it and it kind of just like fell apart, which is the best. Mm. Tia tried the fish. I will try the chips. Back when we first got in Australia, people were telling us we need to put chicken salt on our fish and chips. And it looks like salt, but it's yellow. Oh, it's pretty good. It tastes like salt with chicken stock. Do you know like before you go to movies, they have that row of popcorn seasoning you can put on top of your yeah. popcorn. It kind of tastes like that. Yeah, sometimes the touristy places are good. If you can't hear us, it's because of this little guy right here. Thank you, driver. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know what's another plus? Nice. There's a lady in that bus that was really upset with the driver for some reason. Yeah. But on the bright side, you can pay for all public transport in Sydney, but just by tapping your phone or your credit card that has contactless. It's so nice. Those are, I think those are the only two places. And they're cheap, yeah. It's like a dollar or two. It's awesome, I love it. Hey Tia, where are we going? To King Cross? Why? But I mean, where are we going tonight? I don't know, we're going to the Vivid Festival. This is the whole city supposed to light up. I'm so excited. Wow. <laughs> this is not what I expected. The whole, like, the whole city is lit up. Like, the entire city. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so there's the opera house back there. We did Tia for Scale the other day. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's the whole... Look at all these lights back here. There's, like, and laser shooting at a hotel. It's so cool. We're here with 20,000 of our best friends. A lot of people. There's, there's a this? ton of okay. people. Okay, let me try to explain what this is. Okay, it's called Vivid Sydney. Mm -hmm. It's a light laser art type of show that happens every single night for like a month. And it's so cool. And it's free. And it's free. Yeah, you can walk around. You can do cruises, and we're just going to address that right now. For the two of us, the least expensive cruise that we found online would be almost $120 AUD. For two hours, or for here you could do it for $40 for 20 minutes. So I think instead we're just going to walk around because yeah. we can still see everything. And this is really cool. The opera house looks like an abalone shell or something. Yeah. This is so awesome. Do you see all the, do you see all the lights? How many lightsabers are there? Everyone has some lightsabers and like little glowy things. This is, ah, this is so 
hard. This is nuts. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. I'm curious if they keep can keep this level of excitement and busyness up for an entire month. No, it's just for us. It's just for us. This is so cool. We're just uh, here behind these bushes with a couple of big cameras. How's your guys' Friday night going? <laughs> There's a lot of sweet food vendors here, and I think this is giving Tia too much choice. We've walked back and forth here like 20 times. They're trying to pick a place. There's deep fried cookies, there's deep fried ice cream, there's deep fried hot dogs, there's like fairy floss. Oh my god. Do you want cotton candy, cookies, deep fried ice cream, hot donuts, or coffee? Surprise me. Okay. We came to the Opera House. It looks like nobody's here, but we just found a very convenient spot. The Botanic Gardens over here too, which are between us and our hotel, and they're also doing a light show, which yeah, is awesome. This is, okay, so when, I, when you guys said you guys sh that we should go to the light show, I was like, oh, okay, they're gonna like light up some things. Yeah, this is very extensive is, though. It feels like a carnival. It's so much fun. It's There's really so fun. many people here. There's so much food here. <laughs> I decided on a cookie. It's the size of my face. It was seven dollars, but I mean, look at it, size of it. It's Nutella, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Kind of like a brownie. Oh, a gooey center. There's filling. Oh, that's good. good All right, you guys. Announcement. Mm. Yes, so it is now time to release our next postcard. Um, it is Sydney themed. I drew it and I'll uh, we'll pop it on the screen here and overlay. So if you would like this postcard sent to you, a physical one, comment down below and in a few days we will pick a random winner and send you the postcard. Yeah. And of course our postcard club people, they all get one. Yeah. But this one's of Sydney, which I think is really cool. Yeah. You did, I, this is my favorite one so far. Really? Thanks you guys for coming with us today and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, that's good. Sydney has <laughs> really loud. Uh, I'm sure that they're. Hmm. We've walked and back to. We've walked back and forth here. Does this lighting make it look like we're getting abducted by aliens? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs>